Uh, hi, I'm Tony Santoro, and I'm coming to you from Northern Florida, beautiful Liberty County, and we're standing on top of sand hill. You can see we got a little bit of elevation out here, a little bit more xeric that is dry of an environment. And because of that, we're on this fast draining sand. We can have this beautiful Opuntia mesacantha, okay? A native prickly pear, a native cactus right here. You can see these photosynthetic stems going off right there, and uh, it's a thriving uh, despite the being somewhat covered in grass. You got the wonderful overstory of the Pinus palustris, the longleaf pine. And right here, we got those flowers. Look, there's a beetle passed out in there with these thigmonastic stamens. Thigmonastic just means those stamens move. When they're touched, they enclose around a pollinator, making sure that that pollinator gets dusted with pollen from those anthers. Right there in the center of the flower, you can see the stigma, which is where pollen will be deposited by a pollinator, hopefully from another plant, from the flower of another plant. And then of course, once that uh, pollination occurs, you got this ovary down here. Ovary is just a fancy word for fruit, which will have many kind of disc shaped seeds inside. And uh, when it's done, uh, yeah, look, look at this going on right there, a little native bee. When, it, when, at the, when that flower is done, when, it, when that ovary is done maturing, it'll hopefully uh, be carried off by some sort of critter or something. And uh, those seeds will germinate and we'll get more Opuncha Mesacantha.